Hi. This is a weird angle, but I can't really show you any other part of my room right now than this because I am doing something that you will see in another video and I cannot give it away. Hi, today is December 24th, 2021 and it's Christmas Eve. I wanted to vlog my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I vlogged Christmas Day last year, you know, mostly for the memes because it's really fun to look back on stuff like this and like my parents always took home videos on our camcorder when I was younger. I kind of feel like I'm doing the same thing sort of in my own way by doing this so I am cordially inviting you to spend Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with my family and me if you want to. That's what we're doing in today's vlog. If I'm being honest, I don't feel like it's Christmas either. I feel like a lot of people this season just didn't feel like Christmas. I mean, there's a lot of reasons for that. Here soon, we are gonna head over to my cousin's house because we're having a little Christmas Eve dinner there. We always do something as a family on Christmas Eve. I still have a couple presents to wrap or at my parents, so I'll do that tonight, obviously, when we get back. I can't wait to give them their gifts. I cannot wait. I wanted to show you guys my outfit. This is the same turtleneck I wear like every day. I didn't bring much stuff home with me in terms of clothes, but of course I brought this. This is my staple. It's just this little turtleneck long sleeve shirts from garage this sweater vest i got on black friday actually from hollister if you guys watched that video jeans and shoes are the same as usual jeans are the abercrombie curve love 90s high rise straight jeans these are actually the ones that have the split leg thing going on they're really cool i'm just wearing some black booties and that's it for the outfit all right it's 3 40 p.m i think we're gonna get going Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three
yeah. I, I don't know what it says, but yeah. I love it. <laughs> so it's a proverb, right? And it says, are you really filming me? <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, All right. Oh, I know. It's so beautifully wrapped. Thank you. You're okay. Let me explain. Temperature control mug. Yes. Okay. So you can set a specific temperature on it. So like for your coffees, how you yes. always like have to go downstairs oh, yes, I'm and rewarm. This, stuff. if it works correctly, how it's supposed to, it's supposed to keep it at the same no designated way. temperature the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my lord, the freaking window. I can try and film this without my glasses. That might be the move. Okay, this is what we're gonna do because I just don't want to do the glare. And I'm not putting my contacts in today. It's just an absolute no. Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. We're back with the What I Got for Christmas haul. This will be my fifth time filming a What I Got for Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for Christmas. I'm excited. I love watching these. I don't even care how old I am. I'm 22 years old. I will forever love watching these. This makes me so happy. So here we are. I put everything in categories this year. The first category is essentials. Okay. First thing that I got is some zinc. For obvious reasons. Immune system needs to be at an all time high right now. So. God bless. Next, a Tide stick. I am very messy and I just used up my last Tide stick. So next we have a mini hand lotion to keep in my purse. This is especially important because obviously I'm washing my hands like crazy and they get so dry, especially in the winter. Again, essential. Moving on, a lint roller. Cannot stand when my black leggings have lint, cat fur, whatnot. So we need this. These next two things are a set. My mom actually got these at a craft fair, which is adorable. And I think these are really cute. This is a little tissue pouch. I just think that the covering is so pretty and it came with this as well, which this is a little emergency first aid kit situation. There's so much good stuff in here. We have some alcohol pads for cleaning. If I like get a cut or something, we have some band-aids, Neosporin, Advil, nail file, some safety pins, nail clipper, like all the random things that I feel like you never really think to prepare for. And then it happens and you're like, Damn, I wish I had whatever it is. It's adorable. I love that it's handmade and local. I'm going to be keeping this in my purse. Hopefully I'm in focus. I actually can't see. And then the last thing for the essentials category, we have some kitchen supplies, okay? Mom also got these at the craft fair, so they're all handmade. This is a little jar opener. I don't have one of these right now. And then these two things are both reusable dish scrubbers to like wash dishes with, and then you can throw them in the laundry. This is just like a little dish rag that you can use to dry things. And we have a hot pad. It's just a little bit thicker so you can put hot things on it. I could probably also use it as like a mitten type of thing to pull out hot stuff. So freaking adorable. Moving on to so the next category is candles. Would this be Christmas if I didn't get at least one candle? No. We have two candles this year. These are both also from the craft fair that my mom went to. First, there's this one in this little tin and this candle is gorgeous. I don't even want to burn this. This is what it looks like. It's just beautiful. Are we seeing this? In this candle, you will find dried lavender petals with one to four amethyst crystals. May this candle bring safety, protection, peace, and calm. I just think that's awesome. I love it. It's so relevant and perfect. It smells so good and it's just gorgeous. I'm so obsessed with this. Next candle that I got is this one. This one is in the scent flannel. It just smells so nice. It gives me cozy, wintry vibes. I definitely don't think that I have anything that smells like this. So it's gonna be so nice to burn in my apartment. Can you believe that some people just like are born with good vision? Cause that seems super unfair. So next we're gonna do accessories. The first thing I got actually are these pair of socks that I'm wearing right now. Snowmen, aren't they cute? They're very cozy. Second thing in this category is actually this 
case from case to buy and this is not sponsored I actually asked for this for Christmas I've been eyeing this specific case for so long and I just recently got a new phone and I only have like one case for it so far so I put this one on my list I already put it on my phone it's just a brown leather case it's just gorgeous I am so obsessed with brown lately I don't know why I just think this case is so nice it's classic it's kind of like a neutral it goes with so many things not that I like am someone who has to match my phone cases to my outfits or anything like that but yeah I've been eyeing this phone case for so long and I'm so happy that I got this I was not expecting to get this all right so next for accessories I got this pair of sunglasses from Princess Polly they're so freaking cute I just really liked the shape they're like the tortoise shell print I don't have any sunglasses that look like this I have no idea what these look like right now because I can't fucking see I just thought they were really cool. Oh my gosh. This is another thing that I was not expecting to get. I did put it on my list, but I was still surprised when I actually opened it up. This is, if you guys watched my video where I included my like Christmas wish list PowerPoint, this is the Apple Watch band that I put on that. It is so cool so cool i wish i would have brought my apple watch home i didn't because i didn't think i was gonna need it here i'm so sad that i didn't because i want to put this on it so bad so it's this tortoise shell print band i just think this is so sick for some reason it's by the brand machete i think this will be perfect just to wear with like everyday outfits i feel like it'll look like an actual watch you know what i mean oh my gosh i cannot wait to put that on okay next category is books start with the book for reading i got this book the inheritance games i have been wanting to read this book since i saw that it existed i'm pretty sure that this is a series so i think this is the first book in it i've heard really good things about this book can't wait to read this next i got two cookbooks the first one is the milk bar cookbook so i saw kelsey kreppel made a few things in this cookbook and i was just really intrigued by it i really like milk bar the store they have a few in new york city i am really interested See if I can make some of this stuff. And then I am also so stoked about this cookbook. I think this is really gonna come in handy for me. This is the Complete Air Fryer Cookbook. If you don't know, I don't have an oven in my apartment, so I had to get a convection oven, but it's the Ninja 10 in 1. It does a bunch of things, so it also is an air fryer. I wanted to find some recipes that I could make in the air fryer, because air fryers are so easy to use, but I just didn't really know like where to start. I've been trying to get more into cooking I don't know if air frying counts as cooking. <laughs> it does to me, so whatever. So I got this cookbook. We're gonna get crazy with this. And then the final thing in this category. The final thing in this category. The ultimate guide to Harry Styles. Yep, my mom said that she saw this at Walmart when she was in the checkout line, so she got it. I don't even need to say anything else. I don't feel as though I need to elaborate on this. Okay, thank you so much. These actually don't really have a category. Well, I guess two of them could be considered games, so I'll do that next. All right, so games. First, I got the We're Not Really Strangers card game. I have been just hearing about this game for years, and I have always wanted to get it, but I just like never bought it for myself. I got it. I'm so excited. I could obviously play this with other people, but I also saw Tara Michelle, a couple of her vlogs, do these cards as like journal prompts, which I thought was a really interesting idea. I'm so excited. I keep saying I'm so excited, but I'm like excited about everything. So, you know, it, it is what it is. We all know the vibes of this. Um, yeah, so in that video where I shared my Christmas wish list presentation, I put this on here and my mom actually got it. Oh my god. Yeah, so I got a Harry Styles puzzle. This is from Etsy, I believe. I mean, come on. Like, come on. Duh. I already started putting it together. It's angelic. You know what I mean? I, yeah. Harry Styles puzzle. Next, this is not in the games category. These are just kind of like miscellaneous at this point, I guess. I got the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. My mom has this actually here and I've used it a few times. It is so great. Like if I get a shower in the morning and wash my hair in the morning and I need my hair to be dry, I love this. I'm really excited to have this now for myself and to have this with me in my apartment. And then finally, the last two things are actually things that are not here yet, but I wanted to include 
include them because I'm excited about them. This is the order confirmation. So my mom gave me, she printed out the order confirmation and then put it in a bag for me to open. But I'll insert a photo of what this is. These are the Converse Custom Platform Chuck Taylor All Stars. I am so excited. I got these in the brown color that I showed in the video and I thought these were sold out. Like these are sold out right now, I'm pretty sure, or at least the last time I checked they were. I just assumed that my mom hadn't ordered them at that point and that I like wouldn't be getting them. But when I saw this in the bag, I was so excited. So it says she ordered them on December 1st and their estimated delivery is January 16th. Like, that's a while. I wanted these so bad. So freaking bad. And I am so happy. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. And then the last thing that I got is actually for my brother. He was so cute this year with Christmas presents. He got everyone in our family a present. And they were all so perfect and thoughtful. I was like so proud of him. And then he wrapped them really nicely too. We love it. We love to see it. He printed this picture out for me of Mr. Jalen Hurts. Drew arrows to his jersey. So he ordered me his new jersey, number one. This just means we have to go to a game next year. That's really what this means. And I am really excited. And I think that was such a thoughtful gift. He said it's supposed to be here soon. I don't know when he ordered it. But yeah, so he got me a Jalen Hurts jersey, which is so cute. All right, so that's what I got for Christmas. I'm gonna go downstairs, watch probably some Christmas movies, and edit this video because I want to get this video up tomorrow for Sunday for my like regular weekly video. But I wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas, obviously. I love these videos. I will be watching out on YouTube for the next like probably week to catch everyone's what I got for Christmases. I hope people are doing them again this year. I don't go f how old I am. If y'all want to keep seeing what I got for Christmases, I'm gonna keep doing them. And honestly, even if people don't want me to do these anymore, I'm still gonna do them because I enjoy this. That was it for my Christmas haul. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit when I have something else that I'm doing. <laughs>